coaching us yeah. single damn players not making the tackles because y'all playing players yeah. with dropping yeah. fucking balls. Yeah. So if it's so if it is yeah. like this, so yeah. they dropping yeah. passes. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all can say what you want, we know what's really real When them can't come out the tunnel, put you in your field Rep me, you swagged out, trying to build a dynasty Yeah, that's the move, Max, stop still out the grinding We still trying to win some titles, yeah, we still gotta crush our rivals, yeah We never break, but we might bend, all we know is survival I'm thinking we need some recruits, yeah Tell them to go to the U, we may quit he just vanished. Good dog. Boy, did you see that? No, no L for one W. I know one day we'll bounce back to that rare status like O2. Cover three, cover four. We got talent, gotta get some more. Take it to the house like number four. And 05, we'll get it back together. EDC is a job. Time to max out on both sides. And if you a fan of the cave, stay down for the ride. We on the line every Christmas. You have dudes like that. And came up for Blue. We go live on Max Out. You'll be okay. Making and talking shit. The worst tackling team in the country, a eh, but Yeah, that was us. That was us. I ain't lie. Y'all heard it right. Y'all heard it right. The worst tackling team in the country. Right. And we took the model from the Seattle Seahawks. Ironically, guess who was the worst tackling team in the NFL? Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> That's crazy. We don't we don't have to talk about that. Uh, but uh, appreciate the uh, the hundred people in here right now. I know there's a fire show going on on Coach Hayes. Shout out to Coach Hayes. He's got Duke Johnson on the show right now. Uh, well, so, shout out to Coach Hayes. So hopefully Groove's over there watching the best running back in the University of Miami history. Cap, cap. <laughs> one, of them. Uh, one of them. One of them. One of yeah. them. We'll, we'll we'll give him one of them. But you know that's his pick. You know what I'm saying. So you know it's it's all good. You know what I'm saying. You yes. tell him what's happening. Nigga, so, what's going on, bro? Before we get started, I gotta do a quick plug to our coach. I got the new uh, fill the sleeves shirt. The new fill the sleeve shirt for uh. For I wish coach. I can. I wish I can do that with with my shirt. But. <laughs> you funny. Uh, but yeah, here's, I'll post a link in the chat. All proceeds go to, uh, special Olympics. Special Olympics. So I had to support our coach. I know it's something near and dear to him. So check the shirts out. It's not our merch, but it's for a good cause. You got the, the crazy coach wearing them here. I don't know if you've seen some of the videos, a black he's been posting the past couple of days. No, nah, I've seen them. I've seen it. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, so yeah, how to, how to support our guy, you know, we got players on NIL deals, but now I got coach on one kind of, uh, what's going on with you black? <sighs> not man, not man. Just been doing, just been doing me. That's about it, man. Ain't not, ain't much, ain't not much going on, man. I ain't making no noise. You, you, you're not cooking on the show today. No, nah, I ain't cooking today. I ain't cooking today. My son cooked. He, my son cooked today. He cooked today for himself, so I'm good. Did Did you eat any of that? I wasn't really hungry. I haven't really been eating like that. I yeah, I wouldn't. Hungry. I wouldn't have been hungry too if my kid was making something. I mean, but now nah, they can cook. I mean, he made some chicken last week. Well, over the weekend, he made some chicken. It was pretty good. I can't even front. It was. It was pretty good. I thought it was gonna be salty as hell, but it wasn't. It was. It was good. Well, which one was it? The old, yeah, not so. Uh, oh Lord, you 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 teach him how to cut up in the kitchen. Got to man, got to. All right, Black. We've got some stuff we want to kind of talk about. Um, we do have our guest that's going to be joining us in any second. Let me just make sure I send him the link. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, so no, come here talking that that Broward bull, that, that Broward crap. You know what I'm saying? Tell you want the show to last four hours? Mention mm -hmm. that. Nah, don't want that. You know what I'm saying? Don't want that. Just get some on them brow team. Never mind me. Shut up. Well, he's not here yet, so it doesn't matter. Um, <sighs> we'll, we'll get to a couple comments before he gets on here. Um, <laughs> look, guys, did the Canes look, get? You see yeah, Flo? <laughs> yeah. Flo, hey, Flo, Flo, did you hear what the – did you hear what A Black just said, Flo? I, I, I need confirmation. <laughs> uh, but while we wait for Flo's response, or he probably already left because he doesn't care about us. Uh, yeah, Flo don't care. Him, Flo don't watch our show. He still ain't give you your money, bro. Yeah, right. Flo don't watch our show. Flo don't even. Flo don't even ask to be a guest on our show. He's like, man, man, y'all, y'all the stepchilds of the other 
of the family. I ain't, I can't be seen with you guys in public like that. Yeah, it's crazy. But uh, we'll, we'll get. Oh, you can't. Oh, you. Oh, so you are here. Did you hear what A Black said, Flo? He said. He said. He said. Date over Broward. I think Flo knows who the guest tonight's gonna be. Without statement. Right. Right. Uh, but now nah, we'll get to to your comment, David. Uh, did the guys, the Canes, get Monroe Freeling? So he is not going to make an announcement anytime soon. Uh, so it's way too early to kind of say with him. Uh, he wants to take official visits. He still has two official visits left. He wants to do them during the season. He wants to go to a Miami game. I'm not sure. I think maybe he wants to come to the Florida State game, but I'm not too sure. Um, so he, he's taking his his uh, recruitment into the season. Um, so I'm not I'm not really worried about his recruitment right now. Uh, this is one for you, Buck. Not really a mind question. Who I have my answer. The version of, of Mario with Miami and Dion. With SS, uh, who's Florida's version of Mario? I got my answer. Uh, I don't know. Can I think about that? And I, yeah. You want me to go? You want me to go first? Yeah. Tim Tebow. Yeah, I could agree with that. I'm going oh, Tim Tebow. I don't know. I'll say maybe Fred Taylor, Emmitt Smith, I guess. Yep. Yeah, so somebody said Emmitt Smith, so yeah. Or Steve Spurrier. Fuck hell, he's the winningest coach in Florida history. Probably the best coach they've ever had. Uh, who's this guy? Yeah. I don't know. Lex, huh? Alex Rivera. Alex Rivera. Mm. Must be a new. Is that a new viewer? Uh, It must be. Who's the dude? If he's a new viewer, tell him to drop some cream on us. You know what I'm saying? New viewer, drop some cream on us. Hit the like button, please. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Javi's falling asleep because a new viewer's in here. Right. Yeah, no one know. Yeah, no one knows him. We're we're gonna get to re- re- to recruiting here in in a second. We're gonna wait for our guest. Um, this is exactly how I feel. Orange and green blood. Flo sounds like an ex girlfriend. I'm not in love with you, but I do care about you. Yep, that's exactly how Flo treats us. He's been on everybody else. He, he treats us. He treats us bad, man. Treats is bad, orange and green. He treats is bad. I'm still waiting on my child support money, Flo. Yeah, he treats is bad, you know. <laughs> nah, but uh, there is a an event coming up this weekend, uh, and, and what's funny is we can talk about it, but we can't talk about it because the staff wants that on lock. Like the barbecue this weekend, they they're not letting anybody report anything. Yeah, that thing is that thing is Trump tight, man. That thing is Trump tight, like Fort Knox. Yeah, you are fired. Get him out of here. Um, so it, it is interesting, you know. Obviously, there's some players that that are going to be there. There's a there's a lot of players that are going to be there. Uh, but they've told pretty much everybody, and this was confirmed by multiple people that that write articles and and talk to recruits not to mention (laughs) anything like at all about this weekend um so how do you how do you feel about that black i mean i got an invite but i told coach mario i got no more eligibility man i said you know i said i'm 365 carries i had i I can't do it no more so sorry i can't make it but i can you know i can you know i can stir stir some people your way you know, as long as they're committable offers. <laughs> but no, but um, you talk about your two kids, eh, Black? I'm always, I'm, I'm, all, hey, I'm always gonna talk about my two, because that's what's important. But um, no, man, I think that's a great idea, right? Because in the past, you know, things were things were allowed to be leaked, and you know, and you know, these young men didn't like that. You know, what I'm saying they wanted to keep things on a the hush. They didn't want 
you know, the mass media or other publications or just people in general knowing their business, you know what I'm saying? Knowing their business because they want to operate under the radar, do things at their own pace. So, you know, and they have every right to feel that way, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes, you know, it's a saying, you don't got, you don't got to always, you don't got to let everybody know what you're thinking or what you're doing. And I think that's what the coaching staff is doing with this barbecue. Like, yo, don't put out nothing. Don't tell nobody who's coming. Zip. And if you do, if you do leak something, even a hint where people can guess who who's coming, I think they gonna they should be cut off. You know what I'm saying? They should be they should be cut off, cut their legs right from underneath them. But I think it's a great idea, man. It keeps the suspense, right? Keeps all these other programs like. Like, damn, who, who's going? Is it one of our committed players or somebody that we're we're definitely trying to get? It keeps that suspense. It keeps them nervous. You know what I'm saying? When you got a cat in Gainesville telling lies about, you know what I'm saying, who he got and, you know, talking dirty about Coach Cristobal and Coach Cristobal got to let him know what the deal is and, you know, the dude, you know, the team up in, up in Tallahassee and just throughout the country, they don't know who's coming. They don't know if one of their committed players is going to be down at the barbecue chilling with other players and chilling with the coaches and, and uh, possibly becoming a potential flip from their school to our school. So I definitely think it's a great idea that Coach, uh, Coach Mario has put it out that no names are to be leaked whatsoever at this, at this particular time. You know, we'll know when he wants us to know. So, yeah, I think, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, and, like, this is the first time that it's kind of become, like, super public that he doesn't want anyone to know about it. And, like, you know, we have our, our VIP chat, and we post some stuff in there, but we all agreed, like, we're just not going to say anything. We're just not going to do it. It's not worth it. Because yeah. somebody's going to take a screenshot and post it, and then mm -hmm. who's getting in trouble? It's us. Uh, Flo, don't get me started, all right? Don't get me started. But we do have actually do have somebody from Kane's Insight. In hey, here. Dane, baby. Dane over Brown all day long, man. Dane over Brown all day long, Steve-O. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the cap, bro. Uh, Dane yeah. over Brown all day long. I, so, I told A-Black I told A -Black, if he wants this show to last eight hours, say that. I guess he wants the show to last eight hours. No, I don't. I'm just Cut. messing with my man, Steve-O. That's all. Man, Cut the cap. <laughs> Cut the absolute you know, cap. What's let me up, see this. Let me what see. up, A-Black, Max? Chilling, so, bro. Chilling. so, Steve, before we get into kind of like this week of potential commits and, and some stuff that's going on, we got to ask you something. What? A-Black. Hey, hey, Throw it, throw it right at Steve-O. Yo, what's up with this? What's up with the seven on seven, man? What's going on? On the grand scheme of things, you know, you hearing anything, you know, cats bouncing from other teams, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> players. A, a Black wants to throw you on the spot. You know, uh, play, you know, you know I, players may be leaving, coaches may be leaving. You yeah, know, where well, where are you at? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's up, bro? So, like, Mario and our staff selecting to do to keep things on the hush. I mean, we moving like that because uh, some things is going to be different. But, you know, as people know, Jose Duasso stepped down for the Miami Immortals. And uh, I am, you know, I did, you know, they're possibly doing something. And uh, I did accept the possible receiver coach job and kind of a recruiting coordinator for a county that has a lot of talent. Day and county, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> <Cap>. <laughs> you feel me? Like I'll let somebody else do that, but uh, you feel me? And uh, maybe there might be a connection with a uh, couple local coaches and uh, private trainers. Uh, you know, doing some things that feet be gold. So it, 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 it it's it's looking nice, but uh, I can't tell you about movement between players and coaches. But uh, there's definitely moves being made. Hmm. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, a black wanted to throw you. I didn't even tell him. I didn't even tell him to ask you that. No, I, but I, you know, I was. I don't know. Honestly, I was asking, like you know, in sincerity, pretty much, like players that you know it would benefit Miami. You know, say in, in, in oh yeah, team. it's it's off rip. Um, you know, what I'm saying? You know yeah, no, nah, I can't. I probably don't shouldn't say some some of their names, but and nah, I it's 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 yeah, it's gonna be uh a lot of people that Miami probably has on their board and to the top of that board because that's just the type of talent uh that they got their hands on. 
Oh no, you yeah. nah, you 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 don't got to name names, bro. I I ain't I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't want you to do that. You don't got to name no names. But it's all good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Flo can't tonight. Yeah, you can, <laughs> but you're deciding not to. So we're gonna get to this before we get into uh, some recruiting stuff. Who gets the first sack of the year, interception, and touchdown? Or wait, are are, are the yeah? I'm I guess you're gonna answer, yeah, are we gonna answer that individually or like? Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna go first sack of the year. I'm gonna go Hakeem Mesador. Uh, that that that's that's who I'm going with for sack of the first sack of the year, first pick of the year. Mm. I'm going Al Blades. Damn, dude. <laughs> and uh, first touchdown of the year. I'm going. I'm going with Thad Franklin. Ooh. I'm throwing in the curveball. Well, who you got, Steve-O? Uh, first sack, uh, I'm going to go LT. That that just sits well in my mind. I'm going to go LT, uh, first sack. Uh, first INT is definitely going to be to Corey uh, Couch. I think he's going to get his hands on one, day one, game Where's one. Where's he from? <laughs> he's a Shamanai, bro. He's an A boy, bro. From the, from the crib. I'm telling you right now, I got some stickies, but uh, which is going to help us if anybody's worried about recruiting 2024, 2025, you better be looking at Shamadon's roster. But um, anyways, uh, it's first TD, back-to-back uh, -back years, Restrepo got it. He got the first one last year at Alabama. He definitely going to get the first one this year. If, if you don't know, man, TVD and Restrepo are like this. I bet you he's going to get some looks, especially in the end zone. It's just going to be natural off chemistry, and that's his boy. You know, it's just – look at all Ryan Ragone's TikToks, the team bonding. You, every time you see TVD, you see X. So, it's just like that. All right. First sack, I said Goudet. Um, First INT, I'm going to say Porter. Because since you took my blade, so I'm going to say Porter. I'm gonna say yeah, all first, three of them boys from Broward talking about – Right. Like, hey, I'm going to say know, first, um, I know. First touchdown, I'ma say I'ma say Frank Latson. Okay. I, I like, like that. that. I like that. So there's a lot of stuff going on in the in the in the recruiting world. Uh, you know, obviously about what an hour or two hours ago, uh Malik Bryant said he's gonna be committing tomorrow at noon. Um gun to your head, Steve O. I'm your Huckleberry. Where's he going? Right. <laughs> That boy came, bro. How, how you game. feel about it, Black? Come on, man. We've been talking about Malik on, off, sideways. We've been talking about Malik Bryant coming to Miami for a very long time, and I feel absolutely ecstatic. I feel, I feel great, yo. I feel very, very confident that tomorrow. Do you, do you feel like this post, a Black? No, what, what are they talking no, about now? Nothing now. So we cannot compete with Miami. <laughs> And head to head head to head battles. I honestly don't think we actually we actually won a single recruiting battle against them thus far. I, I, exactly, yeah. Like yo, I, I think twelve o'clock tomorrow, Wednesday, that brother will be donning a Miami hat and being part of this awesome recruiting class that we're putting together, bro. So yeah, but I think what I think with his commitment. And maybe y'all can correct me, maybe if y'all, you know, if y'all think different, but I think with his commitment, I think it's gonna be a string of defensive commitments after him. You know, maybe D tackles and stuff like that. But I think we're about to go on a run on defensive commitments. I agree. Steve O, you know, if if we do get a Malik Bryant what, from I I know you've you've probably already done his film review. What what are, what would the Canes be getting in a guy like Malik Bryant? Our first true 34 outside linebacker. Uh, so that's definitely my first impression is, okay, we're getting these type of players now. Uh, so we can go up there. He could put his hand in dirt. He could stand up and be an edge rusher. He can go off uh, off, off the tight end. He's played in space some, but, you know, it's, you've seen him, like, shoot screens and things like that. So he's, you know, he's an athlete. He could play in space. Not enough tape on it to make you think, oh, you know, he might have a home there, but that's also IMG. They always put players in a certain role, and that's just what it is. 
fam. And uh, so now seeing him go back to a, you know, a, a regular high school, I don't know which high school it is again, but I know it's in Orlando still. Uh, yeah. You know, you, you might you, see. You, uh, you, you out here slighting our boy Jay. That's where he went. <laughs> oh, for real? That boy an alumni? Hey, that, oh, I know that boy hype. <laughs> oh, hey, Jay, tomorrow for you, dog. But, uh, yeah, so I, we'll see him at more in space maybe uh, this this year but uh as of right now i definitely think he's gonna fit right in when we want to go you know 34 outside linebacker or you know when they find a, a way to get him on the field even in four two five sets whatever they want to do with him they want to rush obviously he has a knack for getting to the uh quarterback so that's always a good trait to have yeah so um i also agree it's great to be a florida gator uh, in in recruiting <laughs> battles against miami because they just lose all of them um you know gator on the grill is is very tasty i've heard i haven't had it myself but i heard it's it's pretty good i um, had gator once yeah so uh and also steve-o's famous quote turtles are fish from our guy canes tennessee with the nine, nine, nine. <laughs> yeah, turtles are fish man it's crazy man <laughs> you know I, I i gotta say it because we have to every time you know first donation of the show uh as you guys know all the money we make on this channel goes directly to nl nil guys um we are signing some more people so so stay tuned for that as the season gets closer uh but we appreciate that bryce uh yeah appreciate that dono so so steve-o malik bryant and then there's you know potentially a couple other guys this week who do you kind of have your 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 eyes set on as, as potential other commits that may not have a date set or or may have a date set themselves uh if we're sticking to the defensive side of the ball i think you gotta point your head to Jaden Bonzu, uh, the safety out of New Jersey, because I think he's somebody that, you know, could potentially have a date out of nowhere. Uh, there was a bunch of talk about why his original commitment was postponed, something very similar to Malik, and we still this whole time feel confident in it. Uh, I think uh, he's definitely going to be a key cog as doing his film review. I, I loved it. Um, so I'm very excited to uh, for fans to see that so that would be who i'm looking for because I, I honestly think he's going to be a a centerpiece he's the type of person that allows kevin Steele to be creative and i think that's what's going to make the defense best because once he's creative it'll help us because at first we're not going to have this talent you know we're going to recruit all these guys but they're still going to be young so you have to be creative with what we have on the roster and getting somebody in like that allows you while you know till 2025 when you know the roster is fully set in mario cristobal's image yeah uh, so before we get to, to kind of the next player, uh, first time viewer with the $50 donation, Alex Rivera, we appreciate the $50 donation. Appreciate that $50 uh, donation, and, man. And for tuning in for the first time tonight. <laughs> we, <laughs> That's good, we, man. <laughs> we appreciate it. Um, so Jaden Bonsu Black, kind of your neck of the woods. What, what, do, what do you like about Mr. Bonsu? I love I, I love he can he go sideline to sideline and I love the way he comes down and fills the alley, yo. Like a safety that's willing to lay that wood. Yeah, that's 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 what you want. You know what I mean? You you want a tone, you want a tone setter. Like um God, what's the what's the guy's name? He's played for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I forgot his name. It's oh, Ryan Clark. Ryan oh, Clark as Ryan oh, Clark. Yeah. Ryan oh, yeah. Clark. I like, know what that was. Yeah, Ryan, it's like, a tone you know, setter. Yeah, yeah a tone set, Yeah, a tone setter is gonna come down and drop that hammer on you. Oh yeah. You, then you got a running back. You got a running back instead of him thinking about what he's supposed to do. He looking for that safety, and that's and that's and that's the type of vibes I get from that young man. He's an athlete. You know, he's a playmaker. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're we're recruiting. We're recruiting athletic bodies to put back there in that secondary to go with what we already have there. So. It'd be it's A plus. Yeah. Whatever we call that striker position, whatever they want to call it, like that's definitely his position. Uh straight up. His tape in the nickel reminds me of Tay's tape in the nickel. Ooh. Being able to cover in man, being able to fill run, being able to play zone and get eyes on the defense. Um, getting eyes on the quarterback. <clears throat> Excuse me. So like I'm definitely about this man. I I'm super excited about it. And I think uh he's definitely a second level defender that can drop deep, 
even on the second level to, you know, for post snap reads to confuse some quarterbacks and things like that. So he gives you that man in the nickel. I, I think it's going to be uh, a good pickup right there because when you have him on the field, you wouldn't have to take him down out on third down. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, has Flo ever donated? Javi says, uh, actually, yes. He either donated for my mustache or a black to do a black flip. And with him also, Steve-O, that's just p- position flexibility. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you said, you don't got to take him off the field. It's with our with with our defensive staff, especially our defensive coordinator. It's it's no telling what type of tricks he could come up with to use utilize those bottom athletes we have in the secondary. Man, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be scary, but it's gonna be a good look too. And say, yeah, yeah, so, uh Funny, funny comment because um, I actually am thankful for this because um, this is like the main reason why Billy Napier is like stuck in a locker right now uh, is because of fourth and fifth, uh, 14 and getting Mario here. So I appreciate that, um, Mr. I don't, I don't even know. Are you a Florida fan or a Florida State fan? You're, you're, you're playing both fan bases right now. It's an international uh, Duke. That's his yeah. name. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, more like an international dookie, but you know, it's all good. Not everyone makes smart decisions. We got a uh, Hurricane Speed Jr. with the 1999 Canes all day. We appreciate you, fam. Uh, we really do. Uh, I was just looking at this thing, it's news to me, but anyways, uh, so moving on. So we got Jaden Bonsu, Malik Bryant, who could be, you know, Malik's committing for sure tomorrow. Unless, you know, it gets pushed back again, which I don't think is going to happen. Uh, and then Bonsu doesn't really have a date. But then... Hold on, no, I got a question. Is it true that maybe either one of y'all can answer, is it true that Malik is doing this commitment at EJ's club or something like that? It's or, EJ? or something like that. It's, it's, it's very possible. Okay. <laughs> it's, okay. It's, what I was told is uh, it's more probable than not. Okay. All right. That might have been why he pushed it back. That's okay. also what I was told because his announcement party, like the after party, was at Edge's place. Okay. So I, I, I don't know why somebody would announce that they're going to the Gators and have an after party at Edger and James's place. But, you know, right. you know. I mean, I mean, stranger things have happened, right? You know? Yes. Yeah. You know. Now with Edge, bro. Hey, I'm yeah, sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, you can get trolled. Like, yeah. A recruit control anybody, but you're not trolling Ed, dog. That shit just nah. don't fly like that, bro. You can feel his aura. <laughs> like when that yeah, walking, nah. like, you're not doing that. Uh, and then, and then two days from now, on the 28th, Tommy Kinsler is going to be in, uh, making his announcement. A hey, Black, I'll start off with you. How do you how do you feel about Mr. Tommy Kinsler's announcement? I think I, I think I spoke about him as a player before. Um, I think he's going to be a king. It's just. It's good to have the problem is like what you're gonna play him at defensive offense because he's 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 good at both, you know, just that size and that speed and that athletic ability is hard to come by. You know, you don't find big dudes like that that can move as well as he do. They don't grow on trees, you know what I'm saying? So when you got opportunity to get one, you better get one. Yeah. Steve, how do you feel about the canes in this recruitment? Oh yeah, he good. Uh, I mean, I I'm feeling very confident about it. His film review has been chilling for like a month now, um, <clears throat> and uh, I think uh, it's gonna be dropping finally uh, Thursday. But uh, yeah, I, I'm cool with Kinsler in this class. Uh, I heard he got the blessing from you know somebody that I think commands the most utmost respect in the room. So uh, yeah, that's that's an eval that you know you don't even have to make. You could just go with it, but. <laughs> on film, I, I do see where people would think, um, you know, play D-line, which I think he has the potential to as well. Um, but I do think just Coach Mirabal and Coach Mario, uh, I think any big man that can move, uh, they're going to get looked at at the O-line first. I think uh, that's their number one concern. And if eventually, you know, he's not, you know, seen in that rotation they might switch him over or whatever the case may be but i think you know any big time you know athlete that can move is going to get a look at o-line first because that's what they do right so those those are the main three right you got kinsler bonsu and bryant um we do have this which uh tony that was his original commitment date uh he moved it up a month to july 20th and then indefinitely pushed it back um so that 
August 20th date is no longer true unless he's changing it back to August 20th. Um, but he hasn't announced that. So um, that's that's where I'd go with that. Um, and then, so that's three, right? But I, yeah. I remember, I remember it was um it was two days ago, actually. Uh, Sunday night, I believe, Flo said, there's a potential for a fourth surprise commit. Now, I have no information about who that could be. I don't know if either of you guys do. But if you guys had to guess, who do you think it could be? I heard it was a transfer linebacker from the from the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, Justin Flo. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I was it. listening to that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's his game. He plays with me every week, Steve-O. Um, if I was to guess... You know, and my guess would be a hot take. You know, I would say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Kamardi McLean, because I just want Kamardi in his class. So that's I'm that's sorry, that's my hot take. That's like more than a hot take. Uh, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's, so that's, 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 I'm gonna go with Kamardi. I don't know. I fell. Uh, who you got, Stevo? Uh, actually, I don't know who it is. Honestly, uh, I have an idea who it could be um, because it's just somebody who they've been keeping on the hush hush, but I just have no idea, you know, what's led from obviously them just talking. So uh, I, I would just be guessing. I'm kind uh, of with you, Steve-O. I, nah, I, I, I can't even say because he's committed elsewhere. I don't even want to say. Right. I, I got I got an idea. The commodity was just my hot take. I got an idea, like a real, real good Femi, but – I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say no names. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I just don't. I know they was talking. I don't even know like yeah. how it went, but based on who was talking to him, I have confidence. What side that. of the ball are we talking? Oh, defense. Okay. All right. Okay. So who you, who you going with, Steve? Well, you gotta give us a name. Uh. <laughs> say, oh man, Steve said go? not this time, but next. Uh, time. Uh, I'll say it. Samson, bro. <laughs> I think Pancake Hunter <laughs> drop that pancake down here, bro, and get them get all of them deals. All right. Well, I was gonna say that, so I I can't steal your your guys. So I'm. Hmm. Damn. You pick. Yeah. You, you might you hear, you, you you might hear disagree. You might disagree with him. No, nah, no. Nah, I got to come up with another <laughs> name. Uh. I know you got an Excel spreadsheet somewhere with a bunch of names on it, bro. Yeah, ahead, I, I may or may not be looking at it right now. Um, well, in the chat, we got we got Brandon Ennis, we got Hakeem, crazy, you know, crazy, crazy. Got Damon, crazy. we got Wilson. Um, he gonna be at the barbecue, but yeah, I don't know about uh committing. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Andrew DePape. He uh, currently committed to, to Michigan State. He's a he's a defensive lineman. Uh, he is a freak. Ooh. Like he played linebacker, defensive end, defensive tackle, super good football IQ. Again, this is not based on any information. I, I'm just throwing the name out because Steve stole stole mine. Um, but if I had to just make a random guess, uh, you know, obviously this is a guy that does not have a commitment date. So I'm seeing some names, um, you know, Walker, the defensive tackle, he has a commitment date. Um, I'm seeing Fowles. Fowles has a August commitment 3rd date. date. Mm -hmm. So uh, can't be any of those guys because it's like a surprise commit. And Steve will still my answer. So I'm just going to make one up. And that's, that's, that's Mr. Andrew that's committed to Michigan State right now. I don't even know if he's going to be at the barbecue. So all I know is we offered him this week. So I'm going to go with him uh, or at least publicly offered him this week. So, so moving on, we got potentially three to four commits this week. Um, you know, you do have William Fowles. that's making his decision on August 3rd. Um, you do have uh, this guy, John Walker, that's going to be making his commitment um, on Thursday. Uh, there, there is some, I guess a little bit of buzz on John Walker. Um, so we'll see. We, 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 we will see. I heard there's some issues grades wise, potentially with John Walker. 
Um, not sure if those are if those are true, but that's just one thing that I heard today. Um, and there was one other name that I was uh, – somebody posted it in here. There's was another defensive tackle, Terrence Green. I think he announced his commitment date. It's going to be August 1st, another guy we're in his, his top list of schools. Honestly, I don't know a ton about his recruitment. I know it's one of those recruitments that we've kind of been working behind the scenes. Um, so we'll kind of see how that ends up. But, Steve, we got one important question that was brought up from our guys in the VIP chat yesterday. And Flo got stumped for a while thinking about his answer. Um, I think he ended up agreeing with me. I'm not sure. Oh, I didn't even hear y'all answer. But uh, if if we could pick one player from the years 1999 to 2001 to join the Canes team at that time, so not like a player that played back then to join our current team, but to join one of those old teams, and it has to be somebody that you think would start over somebody on our roster. Damn. Damn, yeah, I'm, I'm, I already picked my player. Uh, if it was nine, you you cut me off, bro. I wish I had like one more year up or one more year down. I would have been straight. They it wasn't my question, so they actually surprisingly, I, they would have both been defensive players. They would have been my one of my favorite players ever, Pac Man Jones, uh, two thousand two, or <laughs> would have been Charles Woodson. Uh, but uh. I, cause I, I, I think both of them boys would start. I'm sorry, I, I, oh, I can't even try rough like that. But like, <laughs> one of them, somebody said, but uh, I'm gonna still go with Roy Williams, just cause I ain't gonna lie. When I was a jet, that boy with that man at Texas, uh, you feel me? So I'm gonna have to go, you know, that and uh, him and Andre on the field at the same time with Santana in the slot. I don't know, bro. Like, yeah, that sounds like. You add into the best team ever. All right, Black. Somebody stole your answer in the chat. It's hey, our yo, guy. I, was okay. I can still, I can still. I had two guys, right? I, I, I before I, I said I had two. I was like, I, I had two. Um, I had Michael Vick. I, I had, I had Michael Vick. That, that's, that was, that was one of the cats I picked with them with that offense, and you put Michael Vick back there. It's, it's crazy. Uh, and then I had LaDamian Tomlinson. You know, so I had LaDamian Tomlinson in, in the backfield. Was that, does that qualify? Yeah. Da, when Tom, I looked up Mike Vick, his last season was 1999. When I looked his up Mike Vick, he said 2003. Maybe I'm tripping. Oh, uh, you, you're right, Black. He qualified. Yeah. He no, they, they, they both do. I looked they up. They both up. do. So. Oh, certified. Because Mike right. Vick was giving Florida State everything they could handle in that national championship game as a true freshman. He right, was giving right. Him that work. Right here's my answer. I'm going LeVar Arrington. Can you imagine LeVar Arrington next to Dan Morgan? Yeah, he was a beast at Penn State, Camp Front. He was can legit. You, can, can you imagine that? He was legit. He I can't. Legit. He was legit. Yeah, I can't. I can't imagine them boys together. Um, so we are going to have a little bit shorter of a show tonight. Um, so if you guys do have some questions for us, we got our guy Steve-O here. Shout out to Kane, Kane's Insight. We love them boys over there. Uh, why are you laughing, bro? Shit, 365k football, baby. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to Steve-O's new YouTube channel because he has like four followers. He needs help. Yeah, facts. Uh, I'm gonna post it in the chat. <laughs> Let me see. It's gonna be yeah. actually busy this week. I'm be able to post some videos. There it is. Subscribe to his channel. Throw some questions for us. Recruiting, whatever. School stuff. Uh, Steve, this is for you because you're the only local one. Are you going to be at Kane's Fest? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. I'm going to be over there. You going to link up with your boy, Mr. Mr. Mike Rump? Yeah, yeah, he'll be out there for sure. Everybody going to be out there. I'm, I'm curious to see uh, how, how it turns out. If it's anything like 
the family barbecue, they probably about to have this mean buffet line uh, across the 40-yard part of the IPF. Damn, who the heck is this, Steve-O? Who's that? Who, next to me? Yeah, obviously I know who it is. <laughs> That's Michael Vick. <laughs> That's the, the dog, planet. Melvin Bratton. Shout yeah, out to feel me? shout out to the legend, Melvin Bratton. Yeah, bro, uh, that boy has some sauce. That boy is passing out knowledge. Yeah, so th this is uh, Julius Peppers, and then um, also Dwight Freeney are, are really good answers too. When we were talking about it yesterday, I brought up both of those guys' names. Um, so definitely uh, would be would be great fits on, on those teams, uh, Stevo. How do you feel about this question? Uh, I feel like I don't. Well, who would be the Who would be next? Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, it can go a lot of ways because I don't know. Like two four seven. I don't know why they did this, but they published an article about William Fowles basically saying the top his top six isn't recruiting him. It was a horrible article. Not not a horrible article, but it just felt like that's what I got from it. Was saying, Oh, Texas ain't them running uh, oh they're not really saying oh they're not really that I was just like, damn bro, you could have, you know. But uh I don't I think we're in contact and we're recruiting him. Do we accept his commitment August third is what I I don't know. I just haven't heard, but we are pushing for, you know, now that he's in Broward, uh, you know, we are pushing for another receiver in Broward uh, pretty hard. And I know he's not probably going to be at the barbecue, uh, but make no mistake, they're probably going to keep chipping away and chipping away and chipping away at that. So I don't know if they plan on holding off on another receiver commitment or if they just saying it doesn't matter because this, this dude got a spot anyway. And I also got a text that there might be another Miami receiver at the barbecue uh, that may be making his way down from uh, another school that he's going to be at that weekend, too. I think he's going to hit both of them this weekend. So uh, who knows? I, I think the the receiver recruiting is, is interesting just, just because of the fact that I think a lot of the guys they're targeting aren't ready to announce yet. Um, like guys like Andy Jean, uh, Hakeem Williams, obviously, you know, they're, they're still going to continue to recruit, you know, Brandon Ennis and guys like that, you know, across the country. But I feel like a lot of those guys aren't close to, to committing. Um, so it's kind of a wait and see with wide receiver recruiting right now. Um, they're going after big dogs. Uh, some of them committed elsewhere, some of them that are, you know, uncommitted. Um, but that's kind of one of the positions that you're just going to have to wait. And, and don't forget, we have two elite receivers committed to us right now. Like two top 100 players in the country committed to us and Ray Ray Robbie. So I'm not really stressed about wide receiver uh, as far as recruiting goes right now. Um, but Steve-O, this one's for you because you may or may not know him pretty well. Um, uh I haven't talked to Junior about him, uh, but uh, I do know he's going to be up at Florida State uh, for the barbecue. And a lot of people uh, think that, you know, they got a real chance. And I think it's going to crumble in their hands. Uh, they're being very selective with the top guys that they're going after. And they feel like they have a good relationship with King, which is probably true. Um but, uh, yeah, I think it's going to crumble, you know, in between their hands. And then it's going to become a us and a SEC battle at that point. Um, and uh, I think we, if we win and we continue to maybe ramp up that recruitment, uh, it might be, uh, you know, very fortuitous for us. But uh, next time I see Junior, I'll definitely ask him uh, if, if he's seen him. That way. I haven't seen him uh, in a minute. So, uh, yeah, I know really update with him. This guy's a good football player. That's uh it's pretty that's pretty much that. He's a he's a good football player. Yeah, uh, he definitely is. I watched this film. He's he's definitely a good ball player. Yeah, you know. I, I, I would love for him to be a cane. He I, I think Steve was gonna tell me I'm crazy. I think Jerry on Dickey's the best receiver in the country. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, I think he's nice, uh, and he loves fishing. That's he, he's a great fisherman. Uh, I think uh, I'm, I'm gonna root for that kid no matter what, because uh, I've heard some. You know, he does play with the Immortals and stuff like that, and uh, so I've heard a lot about him. And uh, he's legit. I'm gonna tell you that right now. And uh, he's actually really raw. So for him to be as legit as he is, and you see the things that he offers, I do think that, uh, especially being more relatively new to football. I, I do think that his potential ceiling is definitely like up there with the best in this class for sure. I think uh, that's clear, not really a debate. Um, so I, I would be all over that in my opinion, if I had uh, to pick somebody other than Keem to be like, Hey, this is my guy going all in. Uh, I would say that, but you should be able to do that in both. That's why we built this staff. But like, yeah. No, I agree. I, I think he would be like an ultimate kind of F you to Oregon too for Mario. Facts. Jaden Wayne, and like that's just Cyrus Moss. Uh what's the weekend from over there? I mean Francis. Fra yeah, everybody. Pretty much this whole yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Um now this is another question for Steve O because it's your boy. Um <laughs> And news on Chris Johnson. Uh, so last time I checked, which was probably like a week ago, uh, I tapped in with what a what a dealer JV coach. Um, he told me that Anton's recruiting the hell out of him. Uh, his dad wants him to go through the process of recruiting. Uh, I think Kevin Smith is relentless. I think his he has a specific role in this class that we you know we've been. It seems to be a trend, even though it was set by previous staffs. That's just something that you know the direction of college football is heading offensively to get those guys who could play in the slot and at running back. Uh, so I think he fits that mold for this class. Like you have Brashard Smith, you know Jalen Knight first, Brashard, you know Robbie, even in this own the same class. So I, I definitely think. Uh, we're going to try to keep pushing them to not wait until December because big time schools are definitely after him. I mean, it's just the type of speed that is going to make those SEC schools, you know, want them. So I, I don't know if there's any like news news other than we're trying like hell for him not to wait to December. I agree. Um, we don't respond to trolls. How often is the full used? Uh, it's it's it, it was mad it was mad worked when we first got it but uh melly definitely is using it like a couple times a week for sure she just had all her homegirls uh from she works at twin peaks they all came over and was doing and was working on it so it, it gets its, its it it holds its weight it was its we weight. might we, we might need you to bring it to uh to the tailgates <laughs> To the tailgate, hell no! Nah. You know how freaking horrible that pool was to set up, bro. I never that thing ain't never moving, dog. It, when we move out of that out of that apartment, like that thing staying there. Good lord! Um, so, uh, yeah, she fe it fell one time while she was using it, but it was over, bro. That that thing ain't never moving, bro. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you that thing ain't never. Moving. This man screwed it into the wall with like. Right, <laughs> yeah, that thing like, ain't never moving. Bro. Steve will say that thing is in there for good. Let, let, <laughs> yeah. the, let the hey, next hey, people move that hey, thing out. Hey. Yeah, kind, kind of like Davis's mom, in there for good. Yeah, in there for yeah. good. Yep. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't be a show without referencing the great Davis's mom. Uh, but uh, now nah, we appreciate you coming on, Steve O. Uh, you know, I know you're you're a busy guy. Uh, uh so always appreciate say, the love, Steve. -O, always, yeah, know, man. thank you. But uh, go ahead and tell everybody where they can find you and, and, and some of the stuff you're doing and um, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's my Twitter at right there, 365 Kings Info, or you can follow me on YouTube, uh, 365 Kings Football. There's going to be some reviews dropping this week, uh, for some commits coming up. And uh, got some things planned for the channel uh, with some current players right before they go on uh, fall camp, maybe even uh, during fall camp. But uh, we'll see because they're going on a self-imposed like social media ban, I heard. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But I could definitely squeeze one or two one of my dogs in it before camp. Oh, that's cool. dope, but man. That's be dope. Before, before you leave, Steve-O, you got to give us a quote of the day, bro. Let's quote of the day. <laughs> you got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta give us a quote. 
you can oh. you can you can make one up. You can think of one. Whatever. Uh, uh, my dad used to always tell me a quote, especially when you know you getting that fast money. The nail that stick out the most get hammered. All right. <laughs> 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 the so nail that stick out the most gets hammered. Okay. That's why you stick out the most. All right. <laughs> Hell no. All right, Steve, appreciate it. Take care. All right, y'all boys. All right. All right, Black. What you what you got? Quote of the day. Uh, I don't know. You got to come back to me. All right. I'm a I'm a, I'm gonna go. If you can't outplay them, you gotta outwork them. I see. I see our boys putting in that work in in the weight room with Coach Feld and our our new strength and conditioning guys. Yes. yes. They uh. They're getting uh. They're getting big. They're getting big. Um, it's it's I awesome. To see. Uh, so I'm I'm excited. But black. Like, a, a man who was trampled to death by an elephant is a man who is blind or deaf. I think you used that quote before. No, I didn't use that one. I, 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 I'm pretty sure you I, used I that do, quote. I used use the elephant quote, but it, it wasn't this one. It was something else. It was something else. It, 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 was, it, was, it was something else. But I did use an elephant quote, but it wasn't this one. But, yeah, them, 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 yo, them young men are getting... They're getting in shape. They they looking right. You know what I'm saying? They looking different. They they looking different. Um, I like the news Steve O just dropped about them doing a self-imposed uh social media ban, you know, get their minds right, let it be nut, let it be nothing but football, and that's it. How you do anything is how we do everything, right? And oh, let it be yeah. here and, with the Mario propaganda. Hey, hey, and let it be all about football when Kim start. Let it be all about football. Clear your minds. Or like what I like to say, um, clear the mechanism. Yep. Clear, the, clear the mechanism. Have tunnel vision. And the only thing on your mind is, you know, that first game of the season. Not the third game of the season, but the first game on the, uh, of the season. Going out there and, and, and looking looking forward to dominating. But, yeah, they look good, though. They You could tell they hitting. You could tell they taking this strength and conditioning serious because they all they all look great and they all have gains so and they took pictures so now they can see the progression and what right. they were in January to where they are in July you know and they just gonna look even it's, it's gonna look even different next year this time for these young men but let's stay in the now um I'm I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see these young men camp opens up next Friday it's go time now boys. Yes, sir. It's here. It's yeah, here. We, we wanted to do a little bit of a shorter show today because it's about to get crazy in the Canes universe, whether it's all these commitments. That's uh, right, Jay. That's right. Stay ready so yeah. you don't ever have to get I, ready, baby. I, lo- I love this one. Um, You know, it's about to get crazy. There's a lot of stuff that, that we've been working on behind the, behind the scenes. Uh, you know, hopefully we can share some of those things with you guys soon. Uh, I, I I, I think that's the plan. Um, but uh, we've been doing a lot, a lot of work behind the scenes. Uh, long, long days of work and then work after work. Uh, in fact, I just got off work recently, did the show, and now I probably have to go do some more team flow work. Um, so just know that that we're trying to do everything we can to kind of provide the best Canes content for you guys. Uh, we appreciate everybody who, you know, watches our shows and donates and, and tells a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about our shows. Uh, it really means a lot to all of us. So without being too sappy like Flo, uh, I appreciate you guys uh, for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Go Canes. <laughs>